Start to play Common Ground World and don't know how to speed up your rush to gas? Want to learn new tricks on how to go from this to this and end up having something like this? You just click the right video. Hi, my name is Nubra and I play Common Ground World for three years. Member of NLO Guild, one of the best communities I have ever interacted with, where I learned a lot of things about this game. From fast rush to planning and transitioning to strong builds that win me over $100 per month just by having a lot of fun. If you are new to the game, you will learn from this video how easy and fast this game can be. I will show you how fast it is to make your rush to gas, then make your transition to your rush build and how to maximize your production rate. Everything without the need of expensive NFTs or the amazing skin set that increase your workers' speed and lower your crop's production times. Let's get started. For each competition, we will be provided with different biomes. For this example, we have a desert biome with two river sides and one side having a mountain. The starting product you can make in this round is flour. With the cash boost received, the best way to start would be to sell three, four times flour and immediately change to gold. You can also produce just that, but it will not let you maximize the production rate. When you place down a windmill, it will make shade to surrounding tile, and this will lead into an increased production time for flour. With gold, you can place as many forges as you need, and it will have the same 30 seconds production time. Having this in mind, you need to prepare with it by building few wind turbines. They will produce energy that you need in order to build your forges. Lumberjacks are already taking care of wood production. Once you've made a few flower sales, it's time to pivot to gold. Start by constructing an ore storage facility with a capacity of 20. This storage will be crucial for storing the gold ore, which I'm planning to build around eight of. This transition kicks off after your third flower sale, as the cash generated should be sufficient to initiate gold production. Once the ore storage is in place, proceed to establish gold panning sites. We'll need six panner houses to efficiently gather ores from the eight gold sites. Allocate the remaining funds to build one, two, or three forges, but ensure you retain some cash for worker wages. You can monitor the wages per minute right here. Gold and energy will be stored in a warehouse, which must be constructed before the wind turbines. An industrial worker will be required to collect these resources. Be cautious not to overload the warehouse or allow it to become full, as this will halt gold production. Similarly, keep an eye on the forges to prevent them from running out of space to deposit gold. Moving forward, your sole focus should be on maximizing gold production. Aim for a target of 400 gold per hour. No more than 400 gold per hour is necessary as we are provided from start with only 40 gas. One for each sale we make. By the time we spend all the gas, a gas production setup is needed in order to continue sell gold and expand. That why from this point the focus is to make gas and turn gas into gold and gold into money. To achieve this, Consider adding seven forges and expanding with four additional gold panning sites. By this time, a planning layout will come in handy, and I will provide a link for you down in the description. If you don't know how to use it and how to plan a layout, I have another long and boring video on how to use it. Start your gas setup by building a pond. Next to this pond, we will build two water pumps that are necessary in order to build the power plants. This power plants will provide enough passive energy to make gas very fast. I will show you a setup I use and it looks like this. This way will maximize your gas production rate per hour and you won't worry anymore that you will be out of gas. After finish build water pumps, a lumber mill is needed to start produce some lumber. We will need this in order to build the power plants. Lumber mill require five wood, two energy, and one water drum to make one lumber. At this point, we need to use again the wind turbines and produce energy for it. Adding more warehouse will be much easy to manage and make sure gold production is not halted. Power plants also require a paved road. After you make two lumbers, you can upgrade the roads where the power plants will be constructed. To build a power plant, you will need 10 lumber, 10 wood, and 10 energy. After you make 10 lumber, stop the lumber mill and build the power plant. 
the best way is to build the one that is close to your lumber mill. In this way, after the power plant finished to build, it will provide two passive energy, and the lumber mill that is built close to the water pump will not go to pick up energy and water drum, just wait for lumberjacks to bring the wood and make lumber faster. From now on, repeat the process and make another 10 lumber and build second and final power plant for your gas production. Add one refinery between the two power plants and create gas. The other refinery next to power plant will produce petroleum. Petroleum is needed to make gas. On this biome, we are provided with an oil seep. This oil seep is giving passive crude oil to surrounding tiles, and we need to produce petroleum. With this in mind, I planned for a closer setup next to this, just to have the benefit of passive crude oil. If no oil seep was on biome, you will need oil pumps that will produce crude oil. Crude oil will be picked by industrial worker and delivered into fuel storage, picked up by the refinery who produce petroleum, and in the end, the petroleum will be picked up from fuel storage by the refinery who produce gas. Long process. This oil seep saves also some tiles because she alone saved four or five tiles of oil pumps. Now that gas production is set, your only focus is to increase gold production by adding more gold panning sites and workers, together with many forges. I suggest a number of 10 builder houses to be constructed before start to make your gas setup. Just for faster build of whatever you want to do. The more builders you have, the faster you finish. You can always test in by yourself and learn by playing the game. There is no shortcut to this game, only by learning from mistakes. An important point you need to learn is when to use proximity effects. Like power plants give energy to surrounding tile, ponds give water to surrounding tiles, water is needed for crops and trees. You can learn all this by planning layouts in Planner. The best way for your crop side is to have them with passive water and the use of ponds is necessary. You can improve the points of water on a tile by adding more ponds in a row or make a strategic use of them like this example. Each crop require different number of passive water, so use the ponds wisely. Since we are talking about water, each like, subscribe, and comment give me one point of passive water, and it will help me keep the channel alive. Also, don't forget to check description for more information. Peace.